Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to Board Games, Bricks and Hobbies. This is Board Game Versus, a show where I take two games and make them fight. I'll talk about the similarities and differences, as well as which one I think comes out on top. Today, we are taking a look at two uh, beautiful, artful games. It's Azul versus Sagrada. All right, so first I like to talk about the similarities. Now, both Azul and Sagrada came out around the same time, and they are both very pretty games. Um, Azul focuses on building tiles, and you're kind of building a tessellation, um, whereas Sagrada focuses on building a stained glass window. Um, and they're both very pretty. Uh, Sagrada has a lot of translucent dice. Uh, and the boards and the components are very high quality. Uh, the same goes for Azul. Uh, very high quality components um, and the uh, tiles for uh, the, that represent the ceramics uh, are very nicely decorated. Uh, some of them look a little bit like candy, uh, but uh, either way, both have fantastic productions. Um, and so uh, really beautiful games to look at uh, and they have a great table presence. Um, and in both games, another similarity is that you are kind of arranging uh, and making patterns. In Azul, you're trying to create um, patterns uh, where there are no repeats. And kind of similar thing in Sagrada, you're placing dice, uh, but there's restrictions on uh, where you can place them. Uh, so in a way, you're kind of building a window or you're building kind of your tiled floor. Um, so that's it for the similarities. Let's get into the differences. All right, so the first major difference is in the gameplay style. Uh, both games are drafting games. However, I think they're distinct enough that this isn't necessarily a similarity. Uh, for example, in Azul, you take tiles from one specific shop, and then anything that you don't take is put in the middle where other players can then take that later. Uh, whereas in Sagrada, you draft dice in turn order, and then once you get to the last player, you go back around. Um, and so the drafting is different, uh, and that kind of leads to different play styles. Um, in Azul, you can potentially uh, mess up your opponents a lot more, uh, whereas in Sagrada, there's more ways to manipulate that. And more on that in my final thoughts. Uh, now, the second major difference, and this one is significant for me, is the number of expansions. Now, I don't always think that games need expansions, uh, but it's always nice to have. And Azul at this time only has about one expansion and I think a promo. Uh, and the expansion that it has, the Crystal Mosaic, is really just an overlay for the board. And it, yes, it adds an additional board that you can play on. Uh, they're double-sided. Uh, but it doesn't really add much to the game. Uh, whereas Sagrada, as of this time, has four different expansions. And each expansion adds at least uh, two or three different uh, mechanisms to the game uh, that enhance it and uh, allow you to have more variability in your gameplay. Uh, now, uh, Azul does have sequels of sorts, uh, so while it doesn't necessarily have expansions, there are uh, three different Azul sequels uh, that kind of play off of similar uh, things in Azul. Uh, but whereas Azul has sequels, Sagrada has expansions. Uh, and I definitely prefer the expansion approach, uh, whereas just kind of retooling the game um, and making a different version. Um, now, let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts. Now, uh, before I did this video, I did want to play Azul and Sagrada back to back, uh, because I'll be honest, the first time I played Azul, I wasn't all that thrilled about it, so I thought maybe I'd just gotten a bad game. Um, so I played them back to back, and I'm doing this review now, and my conclusion is Sagrada. Uh, so I think that Sagrada is the better game, uh, and I'll explain why. Uh, because in Azul, I kind of felt like I was playing Sudoku, and it's kind of a fun puzzle to, to math it out, uh, but I didn't really necessarily care for the player interaction. Um, and I'm not hating on it just because it's a mean game, because it can be mean, but I don't think that's its main problem. Uh, the main problem for me is that there isn't a way to mitigate that meanness or that uh, rotten luck in Azul. 
Uh, whereas in Sagrada, there's tool cards, uh, you can pay some tokens to change the face of a die, uh, or even move a die to a different spot. Uh, you can rearrange and mitigate uh, some poor decisions or just rotten luck that you got earlier in the game. Azul does not have that, unfortunately. Uh, and that's just the base game. If you add the expansions, there's way more ways to score points and a lot more variability in the game, while Azul just kind of feels like Sudoku. And some players might like that, um, but it's just not really for me. Uh, so that's why I rank Sagrada higher. Uh, it's currently a 9 out of 10 for me, whereas I would probably rank Azul a 6 out of 10. Again, it's not a terrible game, it's just not really my style. I greatly prefer the interaction and the ways uh, to kind of mitigate uh, your luck and strategize in Sagrada, as well as the expansions, uh, which are just a nice bonus and they all fit in the base box. It's, it's great. Um, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you played both Azul and Sagrada? Which do you prefer and why? Uh, once again, you've been watching Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Hope to see you again in another video. Take care.